Well, welcome back, everybody, to Byzantium here in EU4 1.36. Hope you're all doing well. We are maxed out on Diplo, and uh, we are going to be able to be uh, getting some admin efficiency here very shortly, which is very exciting. Sadly, our uh, coalition here is holding us up a bit. You're going to notice a couple of months have gone by. I actually had some weird issues where my game was crashing, <laughs> and I, uh, I updated my mod and or uh, my mods and uh, validated integrity of game files and all that garbage, and it finally worked, so that was fine. But um, anyways, we have a truce with Brittany and France until 85. We can't really do a whole lot. I was thinking that we might want to get Sealy here to be a, a loyal boyo, and we can make them one of those uh, pro noyer pro -noir. No, I know it's pro -noia. Oh, right, they're too big. I knew that already. I knew that, lads. I swear, I have played this game before. <laughs> so, um, we are well ahead of time on Diplo. We are not going to be taking that um, too soon. I will go ahead and finish this. That 20% siege ability is very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I'm going to just get rid of you. Sure. Sounds good. But yeah, I think that uh, in the near future... Oh, 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 what am I doing here? Right, I'm in their coalition. So, this is fine. What we're going to do, first of all, let's get some spy network on these guys. It's about that time, eh? So we're going to need to keep our uh, boyos here. These one and a half stacks are good. Poland is, this is enough to deal with them. And then... Um, Maybe one stack over here in Siena, and that will be fine. So these guys here are hunting fleets. This stack here will handle those boys. People are leaving the coalition, finally. Gosh, dang it, man, look at this. 15 AE these guys have with me, that's nothing. All right, so this army here can be good to go. Let's get a general on them. And uh, sure, let's just go ahead and take this tech. That will allow us to attack these guys. Um, might have to wait a month. There we go. And let's attack them. This is nice because it will pull Aragon out of the coalition. We'll white piece Aragon. And then we will be able to um, attack them, to full annex them in a few short years, which is going to be very solid. Let's go ahead and pull you guys over here. Have these guys do a little bit of a... Oh, right. They've got a, a, bunch, of, a bunch of troops over here. And then these guys will... Pull on over here with a general, of course, and we will handle that. Um, I guess we can just do a little bit. We have three stabs, so it doesn't, you don't really need to do anything fancy. And uh, yeah, now we just gonna kind of hang out here. We have these guys are uh, hunting enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. Let's have these guys hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean as well. Sounds good to me. So here's the Polish troops marching through. Uh huh. I got attacked over here, which is unfortunate. Okay. These guys are uh, getting beat up on pretty bad as well. So let's have them pull back where they're safe. Sadly, Dutch conquest. Okay, so this is actually fine. These guys are just allied to France. Is that what in the world? <laughs> oh my gosh, so much going on. We can build the Suez. Maybe I might actually do that. We'll see. Let's have these guys come on over here. We sunk the Milanese flagship. Come on over and fight these guys in the mountains, because why not, you know? Why not? Assert our dominance and all that. Let's uh, continue a little bit of development. There's no need to take it ahead of time. If you're not gonna, if you don't need it, then don't do it. There's no reason to. Uh-huh. So let's have these guys with a general head on over here. Right, I will actually switch over to uh, St. Michael to assert a little bit of extra dominance here. I'm going to scorch a couple of provinces here, so that way they will be slow to reinforce. Get a, a couple of stack wipes here. That would be great. All right. Yeah, these uh these battles are going to be very good for the war score. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's solid. Okay, so we have, uh, we've officially destroyed Bohemia. 85,000 men they've lost. That's, uh, that's pretty bonkers. All right. We're winning forts over here. Give those forts over. To our subjects and uh let's put these guys on uh defensiveness i actually need to state up the rest of this stuff i 
seemingly forgot to do that, so I should do that. Probably this one as well. That's fine. We have plenty of admin, so let's go ahead and just do it. Ah, uh, they're going to reinforce that fight, aren't they? Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's okay. Lots of losses for me, but uh, quite a bit of losses for them as well. And remember, like, they're, uh, th they don't have the capacity for the losses that we do. We have much more of a capacity. We they do not have the capacity. So let's have you guys head on over here. Scorch this fort. Give it to him ready. And shift consolidate. Oh, they, uh, they, they said nay. I don't want to get my butt cheeks clamped here. Understandable. Let's have these guys head on over here. Get another general. Why not? What's another general, you know? We need plenty of them. We'll take them. So have you guys shift consolidate and uh, beat up on those lads and uh, we're just going to kind of keep on running around and killing off their armies. Sadly, these guys are feeling, oh, the Netherlands, right. I knew the Netherlands was in this war. I did know that. I forgot, but I, I knew it. I just forgot. Okay. So let's have these guys brought out Aragon. I just want to piece Aragon out. White piece is fine. And now I can actually march on up. Yeah, this is fine. The 70 stack will handle the uh, those guys. Get on to Genova. Give that to Imaretti for siege purposes. And then let's have these guys... Uh-huh. Have those guys do this. Somehow I can march past Genoa's fort because... Uh, I assume it's because Florence pushes a zone of control over here, but... It's a uh, zone of control is a very, very weird, wonky thing here. Let's give that fort over to Imaretti as well. No need to be taking a ton of attrition if we don't need to. Might as well get a get a couple of uh, boys a stack and wipe them. You guys want to stand there and take all that attrition? Silly geese. Let's have these guys brought down here. Have these guys brought over here. They did win a fort and they're on Constantinople. So I should, I should probably at least be kind of aware of that. Right, they're they're literally about to take it. So let's put those guys on defensiveness. Have these guys uh, force march down as well. Kind of an kind of a big deal. Thirty five percent chance they took it. You sons of guns, dude! Absolutely infuriating. Absolutely infuriating. Whatever. Let's have these guys. Uh, no need to force march. Start finding some catches here. All is well with that. Milan is being sieged down. Get these guys full occupied. Uh-huh. We definitely just need to, like, work our way up to piece out the uh, the Netherlands. I need their land, but I don't need it right now. So it's not really something that matters a whole lot to me. Again, still maxing out on the Diplo mana. Or admin, rather. Milan over here losing lots of men in battle, actually getting stack wiped. So yeah, I mean, you can see the losses. 226, wow, it's kind of a lot. Uh, how about um, almost a half a million for them? That's uh, them some good numbers. Them some good numbers for me, at least. Come in here, sadly lose a battle or two, like you do. But uh, the losses they're taking are very heavy. Looks like I had, um, yeah, I had cannons in the front row right there. Shame on me for that one, I think. But I will take this uh, army tactics as soon as possible. Uh, nobody has Miltech on me, so this is good. Hopefully we can win uh, this fort. Very good. Give that over to Imaretti. Scorch it. This is wood, so it's a plus one for me. And uh, they're going to reinforce and just completely dogpile because the AI does, does stuff like that, I guess. Oh, right. And... Um, We, uh, we're stuck over here because their AI occupies forts over here, which is, that's fun. Actually, I lied. We're going to go with the siege ability here. Now, oh, shoot. Yeah, they're coming for me. This is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. And I don't think there's anything I can do about this. I think that my guys are literally stuck here. Yep. This stack is going to get stack wiped. Fun game, man, by the way. Fort zone of control because of they're occupied in another war, I guess. No, oh, actually, we're good. We're good. We will not get flat. Uh, we will not get stack wiped. I refuse. That is um, 
That is one of those things that just tilts me off the face of the earth. Those uh, goofy stack wipes that should literally never happen under any circumstance, but they, they somehow do because, you know, I guess you just can't control your armies or something. This is fine. Uh, just kidding. This is probably an L. That 20 stack going in is going to put it in their favor. Yep. Unfortunate, man. Look at the losses, though. Actually insane. Insane numbers of losses. And uh, we need to probably buy that down just a little bit more. And to get you guys occupied over here. And let's have a general come on over here. So we have the cannons we need. Let's do something like that. No need to get everybody all stacked up. All is well. Oh no, they're occupying my subject over here. Whatever will I do? These guys are being very aggressive on my capital though. Very irritating. <laughs> oh man, but it's fine. This is a one star general. Let's put our best fire general in charge of this army here. That should be an absolute clap. That is a that is a stack wipe. That is statistically significant. And let's have you guys head in there. Shift consolidate. This may be another one. Absolutely, it was. So, uh, how are those losses? I've actually taken way more than is realistically acceptable. But you know, it is what it is. Poland's losses are uh, incredibly high. Now, I don't need anything from Poland, so realistically, I I won't take much from them. Maybe. Maybe some money. Let's see how they're how they're actually shaping up. The amount of uh, stuff that I have done to absolutely destroy them is very high, and the fact that they are still kicking, doing fine, one loan, is uh, it's mildly infuriating. Like they still have a lot of devastation over here, but it's not enough to uh, keep them down. Apparently, are they a great power? Yeah, number six, great power. And despite getting absolutely bonked from uh, periodic periodically. Instead of because of getting periodically bonked, they're still feeling okay. They're like, no, you know what? Actually, I think I I think we will continue this. Um, we will continue this. So let's see here. I will take everything that I can, and remember, we're actually going to be able to take more once we take this tech, which I'll take. I'll just take right now. I I, I don't care. I do not care at all. That will allow us to take ten percent more, which is uh, basically all of Milan. We actually can full annex them. Look at that. We can full annex them. The AE is going to be incredibly high. It's going to 100% get us locked in. But in two years, we'll be able to attack France and Aragon. And uh, we'll be able to clean up these borders. And then we'll probably break off our alliance with uh, with the British eventually. For now, I think we're good. Oh, hey there. Hello, hello. Is this a stack wipe? No, they're going to actually reinforce this fight. Mm, it's not scorched, is it? Or is it scorched? I think it might be scorched. It's not scorched. Unfortunate. So the losses are... Oh. Really? Okay. Well, I can live with that. I'm going to do a quick little drive-by scorch there. <laughs> and then we'll head up here. Shift consolidate. And uh, fight these boys. These, uh... The Czech boys. Oh, that was weird. They just did a quick little double up there. Uh-huh. Now, can I piece out the... Uh, the poles that would be nice uh actually let's recall you and uh need to piece out the poles they're they're getting there they're very close let's go one more repair tick here get in there on the second that way you can shift consolidate on the first absolutely just a stack wipe that army incredible and uh, just continually go around and just headhunt for battles, I guess. That's, that's what we're going to keep doing. If they want to be annoying like this, I guess I'll just keep on doing it. Whatever. Oh, hello there. I did not see this army come out of there, but... Uh-huh. At this point, it looks like we really are just going to keep on uh, steamrolling through these battles. Uh, Bohemia is... Uh, the fact that Bohemia has lost so many men. They're a 52 Liberty Desire. And I don't think there's anything I could do... To like, I could break off their stuff, but they, that's that's a lot of diplo mana. We neither have neither the funds nor the will to agree. So, uh, 
I get to skilled mosaicists. So what do you guys say we upgrade some stuff here? We clearly have the money to do it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a look over here. This is upgraded. Um, this one is prestige decay. Advisor cost, more advisor cost, sure. Might as well. And then this one here is level five as well. The pyramids, I don't care about. This one is possible advisors and idea cost. Eh. Bellum tower is global trade power, sure. We're just gonna buy all these monuments, which is hilarious. And the modifiers are going to gradually get better and better and better for us as time goes on. Let's have an army come on over here. This stack and head down here. I forgot about Augsburg. Trent, Augsburg. Yeah, all these guys are... Let's get that fort over there to them. And let's just march on up to uh, Krakow. Might be able to actually piece these guys out if we can... Um, just get occupied and besieged provinces. Yes, so Poland will peace out now. Now, if I want to, I could probably hurt them a bit, but it really doesn't look like they, they're they taking too much of a hit here. So let's just go ahead and white piece Poland out. That's fine. That will allow us to more or less 100% these guys. I will head on over here and uh, you know try to get, get my, my subject here um, liberated. We got a 70 stack over here. And uh, as soon as our truce is up with these guys, we're going to be running through them. We've won the Siege of Como, and that will allow us to uh, do that, which is absolutely insane. That is a crazy amount of development that we just took. And I will uh, yoink all of that dev to bring that overextension down just a bit. <laughs> just a teeny tiny bit. And now our uh, aggressive expansion is crazy. And we have to attack these guys literally as soon as we can, or else we will uh, be locked into another issue with that. So this is fine. Uh, let's have these guys, you guys can hang out up here, and then you guys can hang out down here, I guess. Doesn't matter. And these guys can uh, do a little shuffle split. Uh, actually, this is fine. Let's have you guys hang out here. You guys hang out here. Life's good. Oh, no, an unlawful territory from the Emperor? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's get a general on Yen. All is well. Not too bad, huh? Oh no, a minor inconvenience. Now the coalition will grow. That is uh that is unavoidable, but it's okay. It's nothing nothing that I'm too fussed about. We'll make it happen. Our coring is uh quite fast here. We'll be done with that on January. So we'll actually be able to finish this up before we even go to war with these guys. Poland has sent us an insult, you sons of guns. So yeah, our truce with them will be up in November, and the truce with Aragon will be up in November as well. Just by chance. Wow. Good timing. So, well, bad timing, actually, because you can't declare a war uh, in the same month. So what about attacking Scotland here? Okay. And let's call in England on a promise of territory. Or do I have to? Yeah. So I'll do that. That will allow us to shorten up our truce with Aragon, which we're going to need to do. We're going to have to do that. I will just white piece them. I, I don't care. Meanwhile, the Dutch are over here fighting that. But yeah, basically what I'm doing is I'm just extending the, my truce with Aragon. That's literally it. I just want to white piece them. Uh, that way I can attack them in a few years. It's kind of a weird concept, but it, uh, it must be done. Now the Dutch are over here sieging down my subject, which is kind of weird. So, uh, nay I say, Dutchmen! There's only two types of people in this world that I can't stand, chat. Those that are intolerant of other people's cultures... And the Dutch. It's a legendary Austin Powers reference. All right. So we'll just win these sieges over here. And you can see the offensive is uh, doing pretty good for us. Oh, nice. Perfect. These guys are on a woods fort, a hills fort. So we will head in with our best fire general. And uh, that should be a stack wipe. And I lost another fight somewhere else, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, let's get on to Barcelona and see if we can uh, get those guys pieced out. They're uh, they're very much tempted. No defensiveness here. Yeah, our siege takes our 17 days, which is very reasonable in my opinion. 
Let's uh, shift consolidate you guys here. Win that battle. Lots of losses, but uh, realistically, there's a price I'm willing to pay. Many of them may die. Here's a hills battle for us. That's a minus one for them. Again, very costly. Very good for us. Shift consolidate. Oh, wait, what? How the heck? Here we go. And that's a good battle for us here. And also Aragon will peace out. Very good. That's it. White peace. That's all I want. A short five-year truce. That way I can head it back immediately and uh, get, get a bonking on them in five years. Uh, and then in one year from now, I will attack France. I will probably co-belligerent Brittany. I will allow us to annex them. We'll call in some people from down here, but uh, eh, I'm not too fussed about it. Now, how's Russia doing? Halaya Logos. Oh, how funny is that? They have our dynasty. I did not see that before. I did not catch that. So very funny. Okay, this is fine. Let these guys head on over again. That is a very good defensive province for you guys. Go ahead and uh, get your armies killed. Sounds good. And look at that. Our uh, cores are now done. Pretty solid. Shift consolidate on here. Kill off this army here. That is a Lorraine army that is now dead. And uh, yeah, losses are reasonable. I mean, you know, it's not good, but it's definitely not that bad. Uh, we'll have this. We're going to need this mill tech for the French. And now we're mostly just kind of hanging back and waiting. Uh, we should probably push up here. get the uh, the Dutch pieced out or I guess we could just white piece this war it doesn't matter for me yeah let's uh let's go with a well let's see here the Dutch can't join my coalition so yeah now let me see mm, I promised the British land but if I don't take anything then the, the British are fine so this is fine I don't care don't care don't care don't care and uh all is well with that. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. Save our manpower for now. Did I hear rebels popping? Thought I did, but maybe I didn't. How are we doing on governing capacity? Very good. How are we doing on trade buildings? Well, we might as well maximize our trade income just a bit. We could use a little bit more money. We're actually fairly close to economic hegemon. Now, I could totally start steering and maybe I would want a little bit more trade over here. Mm. So, yeah, we're just waiting until November. Get uh, get beaten up on these guys. 52,000 men with no armies. They're actually not allied to Brittany. So that's really good because we can attack them and then immediately attack Brittany as well. So we'll wait until the monthly tick and uh, make it happen. Um, next month here. Sometimes they end in the middle of the month, and I don't really know how that's a thing. Doesn't seem right. Sometimes it happens right on the month like this, and we will turn right here. Imperialism! We will attack them, call in the British, that way they will handle their colonies. And we will uh, get, to get a siege in over here. So, let's get you guys there. Let's get a general here. Get a general here. And this is all fine and dandy. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Should be very, very straightforward. A couple of uh, small nations over here that probably don't even have armies big enough to siege down my forts. And we do not have mill tech, so we got to avoid fights if we can, because they do have a mill tactics advantage on me. But uh, shouldn't be a huge issue. I'm not really too too worried about it. Yeah, they're going to send up 90% of their army up here to siege down Cone, which is uh, totally fine with me. I do need to siege down Paris for the war goal, but aside from that, we are very much in the green. Uh, I'm not going to go into debt for innovativeness. It's not something that uh, matters to me a whole lot. Now, I do hope that uh, England is not going to be annoying about occupations, and I have a feeling that they are. Yeah, okay. We're going to have to be mindful of that. Let's take that mill tick. Actually, let's wait for the monthly tick there. Yes, here we go. Let's get you guys over here to Auvergne. Auvergne. Interesting fact for you, Auvergne comes from uh, Averni, I think is what it is, and it was the uh, the Gallic tribe that lived in that region at that time, so kind of cool. 
kind of cool history over there. Oopsies, we are losing a battle. Let's uh, let's pull these boys back, and let's do a bit of carpet sieging. Make sure that we are not going to get our armies ganked. Level three general to a guy to assert our dominance here. Let's barrage those walls. I can take Miltech whenever. I do want to avoid fights if I can't if I can. The British have arrived. 63,000. Their numbers are inflating something crazy. Here we go. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting until the yearly tick to take that tech there. What am I doing here? Uh-huh. Let's have you guys head down here. Pick up this uh, 70 stack or whatever it is to go handle them. These guys here. Now this is a really nice... Oh, shoot. I actually don't want them to get that 57% chance off. So we'll come in here, beat up on that army. That is a uh, absolute clapping for them. And we will head back up and siege down that fort again. I should have probably... Uh-huh. Should have probably took tech first, but that's just fine. Let's um just make sure I'm getting all the sieges down here that I can. From the French, very important. Do not want the British to take anything, occupy anything down here, and mess up my borders. The borders must be perfect. It's very important that the borders are perfect. Uh huh. Um, whatever. I guess we'll go with a level three guy. Switch over to a production guy. We're uh we're doing fine on this. I'd rather have excess production dev. This fort down here has been sieged for entirely too long. What is that defensiveness? Did I see plus 100? Yo! Birth of a new city gives 100? That's kind of crazy. Oh, we got a dog barking in the house. I think my wife is uh, antagonizing him. He's a good boy. He goes, bork, bork. We love the bubba. That's what we call him. He's our bubba. Anybody else got goofy names for their dogs? That's what I call my dog, bubba. Feels kind of weird when you say it like into a microphone for... Thousands of people to hear, but you know what? It's all good. At least we got a we got personality in this house, you know. <laughs> so we got no general in this army. Kind of a sussy baka over here. Let's have you guys come on over there. Here we go. Let's have a general join them up there. Just avoid the stack wipe if it uh, were to come to that. And uh, that's about it. That's about all she wrote for this one. A little bit of uh, excess losses, probably, mostly to attrition. But, uh, again, that is a loss that I am willing to take. Let's do a bit of a production dev here. All of this production will then go into uh, income that we will get, and we'll also spend lots of manas on getting that mercantilism up. It's not actually... I don't know how worth it it really is, but uh, our income is continuing to go up. So I assume we're doing something right, yeah? And uh, let's make sure we are getting these guys all occupied. Life's good. Oh, no. Is that their whole army? Oh, it is. Oh, that's so funny. We definitely need to attack these guys. I said I was going to, and then I forgore. Oh, they're going to call in the Dutch. Come on, man. How many wars am I going to fight against these freaking people? Now, when's my coalition, or when's my truce up with these guys? 80, December 89. So that's the one we're looking at. That's the one that uh, we're going to have to dance around. December of 89. As soon as we can, we will attack them. As soon as we take uh, Paris, we're going to get uh, quite a bit of war score. So that'll be good. Oh, no. They took Chart. Yeah, guns. Sons of guns. And I can't occupy anything else. Fun game. Okay. Let's have you guys uh, come on over here and stack wipe their army. And uh, do a little bit of looting, I guess. Why not? That's a stack wipe on their army. So in this war, I'm going to obviously take... You know, the things that make the most sense. Uh, we're going to touch up our lands over here. But I'm also planning to take the forts. The forts are uh, the obvious choices. That makes future wars easier with these guys. Um, something like this, maybe... Snake Shark is actually owned by the the British now. Uh-huh. Do something like that. That would leave them with Paris and Shark. Uh, AE is fine. For extension is fine. Only 300 at mana to at, uh, core. 
Uh huh. Oh, there's a fort on Saluzo. Yikes. Oh, gosh. Give me a break. Whatever, dude. It's fine. <laughs> we'll get his siege down eventually. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all part of the plan. We're going to need to break off our alliance with the British here very shortly. Uh huh. Um, I'll probably just take the money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. We can use that to upgrade some stuff. We can use the Kaaba. Right. I knew that. It's very funny. Religious unity, not uh, something I'm struggling with, <laughs> to say the least. The holy city of Jerusalem for an extra missionary. Let's go ahead and do that. We are very pious after all. <makes noise> Spend money just to have it instantly become a thing. And let's take that to missionary. I have no... Right, yeah. We're going to need to to siege this down very quickly. And uh, we're fairly close to getting our next... Thing here. Movement speed, trade efficiency is solid. Missionary strength versus heretics and religious unity. That's something we definitely need. So let's get this army over here then. And um let's see. How are we doing? Is this this is gonna be a full 70 stack or give or take? No, it's a 52 stack. Okay. So that means this 34 stack is gonna need to split and join them. That will leave me with 370 stacks, and that means I'll be able to attack um, Brittany and immediately go to war and uh, occupy some lands from the Netherlands. So let's get started on that. Peace out the Netherlands as quickly as possible. Um, this war, I will finally have a border with them, and I'll be able to start snaking them, but we're not going to do that just yet. It's not a huge priority for me. There we go. Look at Seely. You absolute legend, Seely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're going to carve a siege him down. We're going to have him full occupied in like 15 seconds. 15 in-game minutes. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so good. All right. Now we just need to win this 49 percenter. These guys will be pieced out. Um, It might be smart to also like do something like that. Eh, it's fine. And uh, a shorter truce is okay with me. That means I will be able to... Um, I will be able to... Um, Go to war with them again in a shorter period of time. We now have a, a Bessalarius's foe, which will give us some permanent claims on some more land, which is fine with me. Permanent claim on the France region. Oh, did I not have one already? Okay, cool. Well, interesting factoid for you. It is actually cheaper to core a province if you have a permanent claim on it. So if we come in here and we say, actually, I was just kidding. I don't actually want to core all this land. It was like 350 before. Um, but it will be quite a bit cheaper if we click this button first. This will also give us an event, which will give us a high army tradition. Uh, expertise in a particular field. And he shall fell castles like trees, of course. That's a, that is a guarantee for me. So we can say fire, maneuver, um, siege, or extra, even more maneuver, huh? I'm big on the siege. And uh, what kind of a general did we end up getting there? Let's take a look. Uh, actually don't know which one's which. Probably this one here. The 4443, which is like not my best general at all. And then Justinius Ambitions, which is going to give us um, Eastern Roman Empire name once we have conquered enough provinces, as well as five permanent PP, which is very good. And uh, we'll get double the chance to get the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, conquer trait. Uh, Ilia Iata Est, which is uh, all fine and dandy. And uh, do we have the requirements? We do. So uh, we will gain some splendor and prestige, which is pretty cool. And we are now the Eastern Roman Empire, which is lovely. Pretty sure I actually made a mod for that before. Interesting fact, you can change localization for country names and it is still Iron Man. So we could like make uh, Russia like stinky poopy duty nation and uh, it would still be Iron Man compatible. This one used to be, I broke the Iron Man because I was updating a mod. So I, I, I get comments from from time to time kind of saying like, so what happened there? Well, what had happened was <laughs> I am a ding dong. That's the major issue. We're up to 92 development over here. That's uh, that's quite significant. Are we up? How's our trade looking? Ah, right. Our overextension is tanking our uh, tanking us. This is fine. We're going to annex these guys as well. 60 mana. That's a pretty solid numbers to be fair. These guys are going to come over here and try to siege down a province or two. 
Pandariari in there. Careful, huh? Let's give that to Imaretti. Scorch it. Get a monthly repair tick? No. Uh, yeah, I get one. Shift consolidate. That is going to be an absolute dominating victory for us because they uh, they're on a on a fort there. And yeah, I just want to. Well, actually, I guess I can probably keep the Netherlands in the ba in the war. Let's see here. I imagine we we don't really have a whole lot of unrest. We do over here. Okay, I lied. Let's let's get these guys over there. And uh, I imagine there's going to be some some subjects or some friends coming up from up the Congo, the Jolof. Hmm. Yeah, maybe not actually. Maybe I'll just um, have to accept the fact that I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'll occupy whatever I can from the Dutch. Because in the the next the foreseeable future, that's gonna be our major issue. Is we're just looking to um, we're just looking to uh, take some land from the Dutch. Because in order to press the button to form the Roman Empire, we're actually super close. Yeah. See, we're over 300 provinces now. So this war we'll be able to take an extra one, two, three, four, five. So that'll bring us up to um Yeah, within a hundred provinces. So it looks like we are gonna need to take So we'll annex Aragon. Our truce with them is up very shortly. We'll integrate province Provence soon. We can actually I'm going to scootage Sealy whenever we're done with this war. Hopefully I'll be able to get that done in a timely manner. have you guys suppress the inevitable rebels that are coming we don't like the rabble here we suppress them we uh, raise their taxes give them cookies pee on them and tell them it's raining Gascon route separatists that's fine oh hello there uh, secondary capital in Constantinople and we move our capital to Rome oh, or well, let's see here. I, this may actually be the move because we can um, we can steer trade. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's reign in Rome and then let's transfer trade power instead of uh, doing Samarkand, Samarkand. So let's do that. And let's have you guys transfer instead of... Hmm... Mm. Ethiopia and then let's steer with you instead of Aiden maybe let's see here so our trade is gonna go from 432 well okay we're gonna we have to wait for our guys to move around a bit yeah look at all the trade that's going up there um, okay yeah we actually gained more trade not bad definitely a lot of trade value over here in Venice that we're gonna need to handle but uh Coalitions are going to be the one that's limiting that one. So we're waiting until December. And we're going to immediately attack these guys. Obviously, we don't want uh, any coalitions to form. If it's land that we can be taken, we want to make sure that we're taking it. So we should be able to attack these guys here in like 15 seconds. On the non they tick here. Air Truce of Aragon has ended. We will attack them. We will imperialism them. We have rebels popping over here, I guess. That's fine. That should be all the rebels that could be popping over here, at least for now. Yep, that's fine. So let's head down there. These guys are affected by a fort, so it doesn't really matter. And we'll be able to uh, annex this guys pretty quickly here. The Dutch are kind of being annoying, to be honest with you. But uh, it's fine. Make sure we are getting some spy network on them, some spy network on them. I will annex these guys, so that's that's not an issue at all for me. We've won the Siege of Kales. I know it's Calais, I'm just kidding. I said I was going to... Um, I said that I was going to... Um, Scootage these guys and I forgot. It's okay. There we go. That is a uh, annex. Now I sh I'll just annex them. It's fine. We will yoink that dev. I will core it all up as soon as I can here. That battle going on needs to be sorted. And there you go. And, uh... Yeah, I guess we just bring these guys down and start sieging other the other direction. 
all, all is well. All is well. Needless to say, all is well. Uh, we'll win a couple of sieges over here. Might as well prevent these guys from taking my uh, my fort. No reason to let them have it, right? Instead, I, how about we uh, we kill their army off? Did I just lose a naval battle? I could have sworn that that's what just happened there. Let's have a general here. Uh, general here. Probably should have my um, my navy upgrade. And then let's have you guys attach. And uh, let's have you guys hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. Let's have you guys upgrade as well. And then hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. Actually, I lied. Hunt enemy fleets in the North Atlantic. And we will wrap this war up in the next one. It's already been a long episode. So <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell. So you get notified when these videos go up live every weekday. Special thanks to Kaiser Dar of Acadia, Geol, Gamus23, Ian Powell, Cannon Fodder, Josh Kipchinski, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Isaiah, Grover, Bubba J, Saronska, Ricardo, Cobalt, Rex Rex, Nathan Albright, and many more.